welcome back to the channel. This week we are at the PGA show and we're gonna take you guys for a spin around and see the craziest, coolest, best, funniest, wackiest stuff that we can find. And all the new stuff. That's true. And we're gonna start out by just showing you how humongous this show is. So I think it's hard to really see actually how huge <laughs> this show is. You can't even see all the way over there because it's not a walkway so it continues even a couple probably 100 yards that way but that's not only it because we got it just as big on this side let's head down go through the gates and get this day started let's go yeah. last couple of years it's been a little bit quiet at the show because of covid but now this place is just popping with people well, and it's late in the afternoon too so some of the big manufacturers stopped coming yeah so that was why a lot of people didn't show up in the last few years and the people were trying not to get covid i was but gonna say and it was a deadly virus we decided not to do a booth this year with short game games but maybe in the future we will have a little booth there showcasing our products uh, we still have had a lot of meetings with some really yep. cool companies and people about short game games so we're excited for the future to see what kind of comes out of that. Yeah, I mean, we we had one day of kind of meetings and now today is our like, roam around and explore day. So we're gonna show you guys some of the cool products we see, some of the funny products we see and what we're excited about. Let's go. So our boy Sean at Whirlwind is a huge Scotty Cameron nerd. So he's gonna like this. Let's see what they have. I bet Sean has had the these <laughs> And he did get a new bag, I, don't, I think. Was it yeah, I, I think it was. I think it's that one, yeah. Wow. That he just got. I actually recognize a couple of these, I think. Let's go and look at the circle tees. Got Max Homas, Putter, Jordan Spieth, Corda. And this is the Newport 2 Tour prototype. Tour. They have Tom Kim's Putter. Tom Kim. <laughs> He's been rolling. Everybody's favorite. Even Salatoris has yeah. got a little longer shot for obvious reasons. <laughs> so, what model are we on now? SM9s. Wow. Blacked out, completely blacked out. How cool is that? One thing about Voki is that it's a favorite of a lot of people. So this is like the most common wedge that you see. And they have so many grind options. Yep. I was always, when I played Voki, I was at the M grind. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. This is one of the coolest shoes in golf. A classic, what it used to be called Foot Your Icons, is the premiere series now. But look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. They actually got a little 3D robot uh, system here that meshes your foot. We did that earlier. We can show you some videos from that. But uh, I learned that I have a very high arc and a high top of the foot. So I need kind of a, the Foot Joy uh, wide model. And it's really cool. They're gonna have these at a few locations. You can see it here, the Foot Joy Fit Lab is what it's called. Mm -hmm. And 70% of people wear the wrong size of shoe according to Foot Joy. So that might be you. We actually got a putting green in our apartment that takes out, takes up the whole living room. And it's a putt view. And they got something cool coming hey out. <laughs> These goggles that you can you see the break inside of those? Yes, you can, and it actually works on any green worldwide. You just pop them on, and then you're good to go. Yeah. You ready to try that? Yeah, I don't believe you. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you go grab a putter. Grab a putter. Yep. Okay. So you already see the. Oh line. my gosh! Are you serious? <laughs> this is wild. Okay. <laughs> if you ever wonder what the future of golf looks like, is this right? Here. Easy, impossible huh? to miss. Impossible to miss. This is shading. Yeah. So How you, cool is this? Yeah. One more thing. Okay. Try pressing the P. Hit the P. Go for the contour lines. Oh now my look gosh. around. Now you see. Contour lines. Yeah. Now look around. Oh. What? You can see every break and where it increases and wow. This is wild. I thought my putting green was wild. <laughs> That's next level, My isn't it? Oh my gosh. You literally press the menu with your finger. <laughs> okay, so you guys can't see anything, look. But look what I see in my goggles, you can see it right there. How cool is that? Move your eyes around. Yep, crazy. Huh? <laughs> Insane. So I see the perfect aim line, the start line. Look, when I look down at the ball, look up, right there. 
All right. How do you miss? By pushing it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> but I saw the break. So sick. That we give you all incredible. the answers, but you have to execute. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so one thing that I have been asked by my followers to find is the perfect golf pant. And I do know that Dunning has a new golf pant that they're releasing this season. And I need to see it. So we're going to head over there and show you guys the golf pant. We are here at the Dunning booth, and as you can see, they have only the most attractive, beautiful swings at the Dunning booth. Oh, who's that? That's your girl. That's your girl. You guys might recognize that downswing. Um, this was actually at a shoot in Ireland, so the whole booth is a wraparound photo of a bunch of the shots that we got at Waterville Country Club in County Kerry, one of our favorite golf courses. I better be on one of these in there, otherwise I'd be butthurt. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the golf pants that Dunning makes. It is really difficult to find a good women's golf pant. There are just a lot of things that you have to get right. You need pockets, you need stretch, and Dunning does a really good job of that. So, I have my guy Steven here. He's gonna talk us through some of the style points and all of the good things about the Dunning women's pant. So this is the Dunning women's players pant. Um, as you can see, the fabric has a ton of stretch. If you look on the waistband, it has this nice elastic piece. So it really fits people of all different shapes and sizes. Um, the fabric is our proprietary player's fabric. Um, it has moisture wicking and four-way stretch um, to keep any player comfortable while playing golf. It's awesome. One thing that you guys need to know about women's golf pants is the most annoying thing is that when you bend over, there's always like extra material when you're setting up the ball. So I've noticed that Dunning has done a really good job by putting the zipper on the side. And that's one thing that I loved about the player pants. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. oh, that's brilliant. This is my claim to fame here. Hannah is on the billboard or the, the booth and I got a little little piece of paper that I actually hid underneath <laughs> the table, but that's fine. You should tell them. Yeah, I should just walk around like this. Yeah. No. Fashion model, guys. Every Come on. sales representative will have one of those in every appointment. Yeah. Ah. yeah will not be in, in, oh, you know, dang. That's right. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm the reason they're selling good. Yeah. Right here. For sure. Right here. Thanks, guys. Okay, yeah. we're waiting for Adam to be done with his very important golf channel interview. So Adam is a big guy. Right yeah, now. he's a big celebrity. Yeah. Got great beard. Think, I was gonna say hair, but not really great hair. Right? We we knew him back when all he did was R and D, and look at him now. Yeah, look at him now. We're here with Bridgestone Golf. Both Hannah and I played Bridgestones for many years, and we've always had to deal with Adam. So sorry about it that. It is what it is. But this is something new from Bridgestone. Yeah, tell yeah, us about it. This is Auto Gen 2. So we learned a lot about Auto and the ball fitting process in the first year launch of this product. So all the new statistics are in there from last year. An algorithm has been improved. So basically it's the intelligence of the first generation auto built into a smaller package and a smarter AI built into it. So it's a robot, yeah? Yes, yes. So it's auto stands for autonomous, kind of a nickname we gave him. So you can do this fitting autonomously without a fitter there. Obviously a fitter can come and do it, yep. but you can go through the whole process just by clicking this and- Find my ball? Can, yep, absolutely. Okay, what I'm currently playing, but I'm playing Bridgestone. So That's right, you go. can still choose that. So it will be X, S. Let um, Now I should have been spent. This, ready. Please hit a shot with your driver. Now yep. go. Go ahead. He's a little slow, you know. <laughs> I know, those two questions just got him, right? Uh -oh. Is it bad that I hit it there? A little, a little <laughs> really. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Just one yeah, shot? Yeah, or yeah we just have it on one right now. Okay. So what it'll do is look at all your data, all your statistics, nice. and then it'll um, give you a recommendation based on all those numbers there. So You uh, can really get your distance up with, <laughs> <laughs> with, with this ball. If I get this, I can hit it over 215. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna hit one we'll more. We'll edit that out. We'll put another. Get some beer on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay. Let's start over. We're yeah, not gonna edit that out. We're gonna have yeah, that in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Good with the bad. Okay, we'll do it again. Let's do this. Let's choose spin. Okay. This time. Let's see what changes. Let's see if he can break 220. Yeah. Maybe 220. <laughs> oh, Adam, I like okay. it. I like it, Adam. What the heck? Dude. Also, this is kind of what I want. Yeah, exactly. So then you can email it to yourself. What is your email still? I am the greatest Swede at Gmail. Yeah. <laughs> Vikingking.hotmail.com. <laughs> but this is super cool. And this you can bring to 
a golf course, you're gonna literally just drop it off at a yeah, golf course absolutely. and you can go do your fitting yourself. Yeah, small Pelican case, it comes right in. It'll tell you your feedback and it'll ask you all the questions. It's kind of like a little person inside. And you have a full you. lineup. And you have a new ball too, right? Yeah, absolutely. At E9 speed? Yeah. Yeah, the E9 Long Drive. This is Ooh. the new ball built for extreme ball speed, as you see here. Extreme. Yeah, so it's co-designed by the World Long Drive athletes. Um, we're the official ball of the long, World Long Drive now. Oh, cool. And this is what they're hitting. They use this at the national championship. They saw more grid hits than they have in the past. And then the ball speed averages were up compared to the previous year. So really like the E9. It's a great ball for the person just looking for some little bit more pop and distance off the tee. That's sweet. So. When this comes to your course, you can hit your own driver. Yep. I'm going to use that as an excuse yeah. for hitting a 213. Yeah, there you go, yeah. yes. And Nothing you can warm up before. Way. Exactly. And then you're definitely going to get oh, a good yeah. reading. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's kind of hard to realize how big this place is, but it goes literally freaking half a mile that way and the other way. It feels like we're in a lot of Costco's. It feels like more than one Costco. Oh my God. This definitely. is probably. I'm going to guess five costumes. Yeah, I could, I could get behind five. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I am here at the Mizuno booth with my friend Jeff, and he's going to talk us through what's new in the Mizuno 923 line. Yeah, so we got the extension of the JPX 923 line. We got the 923 Tour, 923 Forge. Some differences on the 923 Tour, some upgrades. We got thinner top line due to the new V chassis. Allows us to really thin that out, give it more support, give you that classic Mizuno feel. Copper underlay is also on here with some added bounce in the sole. On the 923 Forge, uh, we're using our chromoly on here, so chromoly material, hotter face, a little bit slimmer look than the previous version. Um, again, V chassis continues through the line, give you that traditional feel that you want from Mizuno. That's the 923 nice. series. Nice, those look sick. All right, we're at the Groove Like booth, and I've been wearing the Groove Like belts for a while now, and I absolutely love them. But Dane is going to tell you more about them and explain kind of the features. So our belt attaches magnetically. You push it against itself to open it up. And then these neodymium magnets keep it fully attached. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but a lot of belts that are stretchy are kind of, kind of flimsy. And ours is very rigid. And then all the excess is kept on the inside as opposed to most belts keeping the excess on the outside. Super cool belt, really strong, loving them. And uh, you don't have that annoying, what do you call it? flap on the flap outside. Flap on yeah. the outside that hits you all the time. It's on the inside of the belt, so check them out, guys. We need to call Sean at Whirlwind. We need these. We need these rides Why at do we, look, look at that. Look at this one. Monster truck car. Wow. But dude, look at that one. How cool would you be? What would you shoot if you had that golf cart? Nothing. Nothing. 65 every day. <laughs> all right, now we're at Pong and some of the coolest guys in the industry, and they make some really could really cool gloves hats and these are what are these they're called our utility bags so it's uh it's our take on the rangefinder case but oh. the whole objective here is obviously when you're on the course you don't want your pockets jingling you don't want to have your cell phone in there i personally like to be feeling like fluid as possible because my swing's bad i don't need distractions <laughs> so you can put your cell phone in here you can put your keys valuables anything you need during the during the rounds uh, a little more accessible a little cleaner a little more organized and then hopefully if you're having like beverages on the course you're a little less inclined to forget stuff. Yeah. I know I've left stuff in the cart personally, but. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And the range finder could find it. Yes, sir, absolutely. Too. Or uh, throw an iPhone in there, anything go in there. That's cool. That's and right. uh, the gloves are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so which one is your favorite design here? You can see it's a little twist to use a regular glove, a little bit cooler designs. Yeah. It's even a black one. Yeah, so right, personally, uh, my absolute favorite is the Barrels and Birdies. That glove nice. uh, quite literally is what made Pom Pom. That took us to market. So we wow. started via Kickstarter. A lot of people don't know that. Um, but two gloves were the Stars and Stripes and the Barrels and Birdies. Uh, the way we got started is we said, hey, pledge X amount and we're going to send you product. That was back in 2017. We started filling those orders in 2018. So That's that one cool, has been man. a legacy item. We've kept it every single year. It's the only design that actually has stayed with Pom since since those uh since the start and you guys are in like dicks and everywhere right yeah so we're carried in golf galaxy dick sporting goods uh we're in Saks fifth shields um yeah we it, it's crazy it's been it's been a really really fun ride like we were d to c out of the gates um but we've been fortunate enough to have good partnerships i love that if you want a really cool glove and support some of the coolest guys in the industry check them out
So we're gonna go to the outside edges the outer of the show, the outer limits, because those are the smaller companies that don't have a four hundred thousand dollar budget for a booth. So yeah, that's so where we would have been if, with short game games. The so. booths on the outer edge are like ten by ten, and yeah. they're still like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So you're not definitely not a small company if you're buying that booth, but these are like the little family-owned fun ones. So we'll see if we can find some cool stuff. All right, I got my man Sebastian here, and he's gonna show me something. A little bit different. It's called the golf box. Right? Yes, the number one box in golf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a uh, cardboard box that turns into a training aid. Okay. So it's got holes in it for swing plane, ball position, stance width, hip sway, head sway. You can turn it into a full plane board. And we've also turned this side of the box into a 70 degree putting plane. Yeah. So it works just like the putting arc or the eye line edge rail. Yeah. And you can stab tees in it. I've marked 10 foot. 20 foot, 30 foot putting stroke links. So you just poke some tees in it. You make sure you're not making too big of a stroke for a 10 footer. Mm -hmm. We've also marked off ball positions. So each one of these is one different ball position. Yeah. So you always know where you're putting your ball. Your students are always doing it the exact same way. We call this setup the gauntlet. So you got an inside takeaway noodle. You got an over the top noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can see, make yeah. it narrower. You can make it wider. There you go. Frederick yeah. gets it. Come up here though. Oh so it'd be all the way up front. Okay, there you go. Right. Yep. There you go, it's not bad. What's yeah. the reason for the cardboard instead of plastic? Or so our else? goal is to make this thing free to the consumer. So what no we've way. got is uh, training aids that you buy on our site. Okay. And we put the training aids inside the box and the box is reusable as a training aid. How cool is that? Yeah. I was going to say like, hold on a minute. Okay, that makes so much sense. Yeah. So, so we're you have to a get couple of training aids. Yeah, we got the over. black belt, which is our uh, in-house training aid. It basically attaches a foam noodle to your waist or your torso, anywhere you want, instead of okay. putting an alignment stick in your belt loops. If oh, you yeah. got a skirt or a shorts yeah. or sweatpants, you can do that Brilliant. instead. Yeah. And then we got g -Paw. That's one of our uh, wholesale partners. So we put that in our That's website. That's our guy. That's our That's guy. That's our guy, nice. Paul. Um, yeah, so we also just launched an academy pack. So I run a junior academy. Yeah. And so basically we slap a sticker with our academy logo on it. We put in our own branded alignment sticks and a handful of tees and we give them out with every lesson. No So if way. you come get a lesson, you walk away with a training aid you can actually use. Dude, that's cool. And look at that. Here you can really, you can really illustrate how you can work on your plane and everything. Man, that's cool. That's the best thing I've ever made right there. Yeah, no. <laughs> it, on camera. it looks pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. There you go, cardboard box can help your golf game. Love it. These guys are the founders of the company Caddy Splash, and they sent me a brush earlier, and I love, that was the old version. Yeah. This is supposed to be the new one, yeah? Yeah, so this is the 3D prototype. We're gonna be releasing this pretty soon. So some of the features, it has a water fill line, so you can see how much water's in it. Cool. You press a button rather than having to squeeze the actual brush. And then you fill the water up from the bottom. Um, so it's you don't have to touch the dirty grooves at all, or the dirty uh, brush oh, head at all. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just an effective way to clean your clubs. Frederick loves it. and. Um, it really helps increase spin out on the course and increase, increases distance. Yeah, I did a video just showcasing how dirty grooves can really affect your spin with wedges and throughout the whole bag. So really cool group of guys. Support young entrepreneurs like this. Get yourself a caddy brush and improve your spin rate. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Golf meets hockey. <laughs> this is a new shaft, which is, I guess, uh, a hockey stick. We have to try it out. As a Swede, I've spent many hours playing hockey and all of a sudden I see a hockey shaft on a golf club. So Chip, please explain it to us. I'm also a hockey player. There you go. Yeah. So that's where the envision and the idea came from. Okay. Yeah. So as you're looking down right now, the site to target alignment, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to see a square faced putt yep. every time when you hit the ball, right? At impact. Right, the other thing that you got is you can place your hands anywhere on the shaft, just like a hockey stick. You can go separate, yeah, you can, if you will, if you have a little two-footer, you can go all the way down here and just tap oh, yeah, it in. You true. totally can, and it's legal. Oh, I gotta try to roll one. You, go with this guy. This one is Perfect. the jam. It's wood, yeah. So this is kind of like an arm lock. You can do an arm lock as well, so that's why you have that versatility with the number of grips. So, yeah. Oh. If I make it. this putt, I'm getting one right. <laughs> oh, you're going the long bomb? You're going long bomb. Oh boy. You got to, right? I mean, you should. Oh, you're going all the way. <laughs> oh, 
that's yeah. tracking too. She's too short. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is actually. I didn't know what to think before I picked it up, but it feels pretty good. So we just got back to our apartment in Phoenix. We've been on the road now for 11 days straight. So it's nice to finally get back home. Yep, and watch out for our next video that's coming out with Scott Fawcett from Decade Golf. That's going to be a good one. Stay tuned, subscribe. See you next time.